Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. Let's start out with a question. Have you watched Yellowstone? Because we are a few years behind and we just caught up in like the last two weeks. Wow. Yeah. It's a pretty amazing show. Yeah. I didn't love it until end of third season. And then I absolutely loved it. I loved it the whole time. I mean, I liked it the whole time, but I didn't love it. I don't know. I, I fall for shows a lot faster than you do. Yeah. Though, so. Some shows I fall faster though. But if you've watched it, let us know who's your favorite character. Uh, I was really mad when they killed off a certain Shh. son in the first episode. Oh, he was the cutest, but that's okay. All right, John's going in for a review. I'm indifferent with how I feel about this one. It's in an Evan Williams glass. Is it Evan Williams? No. Mm. It, it doesn't not. smell like bourbon, though, so... I get dry oak, but it's a little sweet right away. Very nice apple. A lot of alcohol on this, surprisingly. Mm, yeah. Some perfumey floral notes. Not really up on my flowers, so I couldn't tell you. It's light and it's pleasant though. I don't usually like a good floral note, but. It's very subtle. It's not very pronounced but it's there and it's i think it smells good but a little vanilla extract raisins and it opens up and it like dominates dried fruits it's like prune apricot i'm very impressed this is complex this is very complex what? i think you get dried fruit every time you sample this sample this yeah i don't know something i have often <laughs> not this particularly oh this mm. format <laughs> i don't know uh i'm gonna give it a 4.75 this is almost perfect wow oh going right in mm -hmm. Ooh, buddy slow down oh wow warm rye spice um it's not hot up front it's got that prickly pepperiness but it's not strong it, it, but it lets you know there's some black pepper in there mm okay uh there's some decent sweet oak it's not dry like i thought it would be going by the nose i don't think it's like well aged but the oak is there that's a tough one i mean it's it's a sweet oak but it's not like i don't know that's hard to explain I don't even know where I was going with that. Okay. Yeah, but I was. You were going somewhere with it. Caramel covered apple. So caramel. Like a, like a fresh orchard apple. Like they're homemade caramel apples. Not like the nasty store bought sheets. No, that you buy. I still like but those. No. The sheet At, ones? The sheet? Have you ever seen the sheets of caramel that uh, you drape over the apple? I like the Appy oh. Tapples. Affy Tapples. I don't know, whatever they're called. Affy Tapples. Yeah, I think Affy Tappies? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they are. Yeah, we, we had a like bunch of them. A week. Um, there's vanilla extract still. Peaches. The dried fruits really turn to peaches on the taste. Peaches? Yeah. There's a little black pepper, like I said, in the front and way in the back. Um, a little bit of eucalyptus, so it has to be a rye. It rye, I, I really like it. I put it on there. <laughs> I cracked myself up. How long ago did I do this notes? Because I did a bunch. A this was A, so it was a while ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. But my notes still line up. There's nothing I can add to it that I, I get. It's briny. It's a little charry. Got a little bit of that bitterness. I like it. I mean, 
I don't think there's much that really makes it stand out, but it is very, very solid. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Okay. How about your finish? Briny vanilla. The rye sticks around for a, quite a while. A uh, longer side of medium finish. Uh, it's got that vanilla is like, it's predominant in this one. Yeah, it sticks around from the nose to the taste to the finish and it slowly fades. Got it. Yeah. Um, a warm, thick mouthfeel. Rye is present the whole time also and it slowly fades. It's like rye and vanilla. And by rye, I, I, it's the grain. It's not like a spicy caraway seed. It's like rye bread. I can taste it. Yeah, it's ready. Not like I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I feel like I have to specify now because caraway really yeah. dominates bread when it's in there. I had rye toast for breakfast. Oh, uh, I'm hungry now. Thanks. That's my favorite. Great job. Going to Russ's in the morning. Okay. Uh, I like the finish. I'm gonna give it four out of five. Well, that's good. Yeah. You don't usually give high finish points. Uh, I like about, the finish. I wish it was a little bit longer. If it was longer, I'd give it a... How about the look? Because every time you pick nice. that glass up and set it down, you get more and more bead lines, and they're just like yeah. real fast flowing. The look is just beautiful. It's got a nice golden amber. It's very pretty. Like an amber gemstone or... Yeah. Legs are slow moving, and they stick, and it's oily. They run a little bit, but they're so slow. This is pretty. Very pretty. I'm giving the color full points. No, it could be darker, but for everything in this one, I think it's perfect. <clears throat> Guesses. <sighs> Proof. Distillery. I don't know about the distillery. Okay. I think it's clearly a rye. Yes. I love rye, but I don't really drink it often, so it's hard for me to nail that down. Um... I will say there's one I, said I 90 to 100 proof. might go to on this, but I know you know it's not that. I kind of thought that you might go down like Jefferson's rye that we had. No. But that one's a lot more fruity because it's finished, so I didn't know if you would catch it or not. I was thinking more were... along the line of like a Elijah Craig rye, but I don't, I don't think it is. Proof, you said between 90 and 100? Yeah. You're low. Mm. <clears throat> but I'm not surprised because this drink's pretty nice. It drinks smooth. So, you know, what are you looking at? You have a gray hair that's out of place. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. All right. So, it's. The plank's on the table. Don't do that. This is Michter's Barrel Strength. Oh. 2021 release got from Chris and Kara out in California. They sent us a sample of it. Uh, I threw it into your little goodie basket that we had. Yeah, I had a, a few sitting on the table a while ago, and I think I you got did, to like yeah. a few of them, and you then did like you lost them. the list, and you have no idea what they are. So I drank like 20 samples, 20 nights in a row, and no idea what they were, but they were all stellar but you managed to save a couple yeah i Wonderful. salvaged a couple all the best of the best all right so you know what a mictor's bottle looks like yeah thoughts processes there's points. probably a pitcher like right here right here no there's some caramel opening up on this you sorry are so random. we're talking about bottles oh, i did put caramel in there anyway anyway bottle I like the bottle. I mean, it's got the pot still on it. I think it's, I love Nectar's bottles. I just, they're not terrible. They're just kind of plain to it's me. It's got a pot know. still on it. How cool is that? It's got like a Well, mat. it's not, will it pot still? That looks like a pot still. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I got some in my eye. How does that happen? You slopping. Sloppy drunk. I ain't drunk. <laughs> what do you give the bottle? Uh, 1.75. I like it, but I don't love it. 86. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Um, Are there better rides on Yeah. Do you think? 
think this is just kind of middle of the road, higher. I don't road? think it's middle of the road. I think it's in the upper echelon, but I don't think it's unique enough to push it up there. Okay. Can't. What rise way? I don't even know. <laughs> well, you like all the wild turkey ones. What? Right? Yeah. That wild Russell's Reserve rye line is good. I, in a rare breed rye, I think beat this. Oh, I don't know what else. Will it ride? Yeah, I was gonna say, will it? You like? But I, I think it's top ten rise right now for me. I, I don't think we'll ever see a bottle though. We just don't get Michters around yeah. here. Yeah. We get the the main. We get like the US the bourbon, one line, but we never the, get anything else. Yeah, we don't get anything. Never seen M10. Never seen. Mm -mm. Barrel I mean, strength toasted. We got the. The lamp from Michael and, yeah. and Boog back there, but... I bet you that Michter's 10-year ride is delicious. I'm sure. But anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so. I think 86 is solid. It's good. It's a good point for a yeah. barrel-strength ride. I'm hoping everybody else kind of opens up to that. I know uh, Wild Turkey did. Do you know any but... information about them, or are we going to skip all that? <sighs> um, there's not a lot out there about Michter's. Nope. They don't distill their mash bill. They say they that this. Distill their mash I'm bill? sorry. They, they don't disclose somehow. their mash bill. Their juice Smart. is not in bottles yet, so they're still um, sourcing. They don't say where they source from. Uh, they don't really talk about any of it except for the fact that this is speculated to be six to eight years. I. I wonder where they source from. I don't think it's know, MGP. I. Think I don't it's think a it Kentucky is either. Straight rye. I don't know what it says but, on the bottle. This is 111.2 proof, I think it was. Um, they put it in, their barreling proof is a lot lower. And I knew that they had to be a specific proof to go in, but John just was educating me about how they put it in lower so that they have to water it down less when it comes out. So yeah, so Michter's, they do a lower entry proof than most others, and then when they bottle it they barely have to water, water it down. down so it saves all that i think flavor. wild turkey does that too but their so their barreling proof is 103 for this i didn't and know then it was that low they pull it out and they said that their releases range from 105 to the highest has been as 112 and they've been releasing this since may of 2015 was the inaugural release of it. Royal? yeah that um, when they first started releasing the barrel strength rye and it went over so well, they just kept doing it. But I think that it's cool. I definitely think that the rye game has really stepped up since John and I got into the bourbon game. I think it's more, and we're just trying more. Maybe, but I the just feel like you see a lot recognition. more. recognition. It is very good. It, yeah. It's different. I mean, if you drink bourbon all the time, you're going to get burned out and you're going to get bored, which I did for a little bit. Yeah. Had to go to rum. And now you're rye, getting I don't rye's get, and finished whiskeys and stuff. Bored so. with rye or finished. Eh, not yet. <laughs> Give um, it time. Too much stuff to drink. I don't think I'll get bored. No. I don't know. Mm. Well, anything else from you? There you have it, guys. Nectar's Barrel Strength Rye. Let us know what you think about Yellowstone. Don't forget. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.